What's going on guys? Welcome back to welcome back to another video and today's video uh, I'm gonna be doing a little challenge video. I, you know your boy doesn't do this stuff Your boy normally just sticks to either vlogging or doing rebuilds Which I haven't done in a bit, but we're working on it We need to get to 150k subscribers, but in the meantime I decided you know I'm gonna try some of these challenge videos. I always see people do it I think they're super exciting and I definitely want to try some so we're gonna be trying a few with the i8 and in today's video I want to try seeing how much people will offer me for my i8. Now this is obviously going to be an unrealistic number because technically they sell their parts about the same for every single car. I know for my E46 they offer me $30. For my E90 they offered me $90. And uh, I'm wondering how much they will offer me for the i8. I'm, I'm sure no matter what, they're gonna give me an offer. So uh, let's head down to Pick and Pull and let's just hear what they say. We just made it down here to Pick and Pull with the i8. It was super awkward getting the thumbnail right there because everyone would come out and be like, what is this car doing here? Finally inside, let's see if you have any Beamers here. These are cars that they're actually just straight up selling. They don't wanna part it out. They're like complete cars. Some of them run, some of them don't like this one says clean inside and out mileage runs and drives 1700 for a 2002 mercedes not bad you can't even tell they said do not pick up parts from these cars you can already tell people already picking out parts from these cars it is what it is this is pick and pull but i mean not bad the door doesn't close there it looks like there's something going on right there let me know guys if you guys want me to buy a car from here and just see how it is and see if it's even worth buying a car from pick up i mean that's a decent ultima right there we have a Jaguar right there. A bunch of little interesting cars. I actually come down here to buy all the car parts for my old BMWs when I did my rebuilds. I'm gonna be asking them if they can give me a quote on the i8 before we actually head out. But meantime, let's see if they have any BMWs. That'd be kind of cool to see if they have any newer BMWs here. Damn guys, some of these cars here have seen better days. Mamma mia. This is a prime example of what you guys can find at Pick and Pull. This car is pretty much an E90. If you guys find one on the used market with some body damage, you can pick this one up. You can take the bumper off, the hood off. It's got a lot of good parts. This whole side is pretty much messed up, but the trunk is good. The bumper is good. The taillights are good. Um, this front door is, ah, eh, nah, not really. Side mirror is good. And he pretty much got pretty much the whole interior in here. So I'm just telling you guys, this is how I used to rebuild my cars for cheap. I just come down to pick a pull. This literally has the whole interior in here, which is pretty dope. If you guys want to rebuild a 5 Series, they got a 5 Series over. The whole interior is pretty much gutted, but uh, there's some good parts on this one. Kind of crazy to see. They have some newer cars here too. I mean, you probably would just part this out, buy the parts, because everything is super cheap here. Look, look at that. They have the full interior in here, the airbag and everything. I bet you it's worth more than the used prices, because how pick and pull works is that they basically sell you everything at the same price. It doesn't matter if it's a cheap car or like a very expensive car. Everything's the same price here. So if you find more of an expensive or newer car, you could make some money. So for those of you guys who are wondering how to do some flips, this is what I used to do to get the cars that I did previously, is that I bought some parts from here, I put up on eBay, and I made some more, more money. I just pretty much went through the labor. Why is this plane up there? I went through the labor to pretty much get all the parts out and ship them out and all that stuff, but I made profit. And I, that's basically how I got to buy the first couple cars that I did. Let's see if we can find any other newer cars here. That'd be sick because newer cars is honestly where the money's at. Guys, there is a Range Rover here. Like what? This thing is so badass. This is like the straight gangster cars right here. It looks so freaking cool. Like a good example is that Land Rover. I bet you, you guys can find some good parts on them that's worth quite a bit. I don't know if that's a newer style, style Volvo, but you can definitely get some parts off of here that I'm sure is worth quite a bit. And what I like about pick and pull is if you buy the parts, you don't end up, you, you couldn't sell it. You bought the parts and you try to sell them online for like a month and you can't sell it. You can bring it here and they refund you for it in store credit and you can buy some other parts that you can end up selling so yeah like i said guys for those of you guys who are pretty much trying to get, make you know some side income this is a great way to do it buy everything you think you can make profit on try to sell it. if you can't sell it, bring it back use that money to buy something else that you can't sell this literally brings back so many memories guys it's honestly quite fun i mean it's, as bad as this looks and as as dirty of an area as this may look this is really fun for us car enthusiasts at least someone like me i really enjoy this stuff it's like you never know what you can find in one of these cars I remember I got some M Sport steering wheels. We got some like honeycomb trim. We got some things that are worth upwards of like thousands of dollars here for you know 50 bucks, 30 bucks, something crazy. This is a newer style G35, which is pretty cool. So yeah, guys, as you guys can see, there's a lot of pretty cool cars here. This is actually a new location that just opened up less than six months ago. It's crazy to see that they have this many cars around here. On the other locations, they actually have better cars. It's just all the other locations are closed right now. This one's not closed for some reason, and I would think that all locations will be closed because of COVID and everyone's touching everything, but technically not. All right, guys, moment of truth. About to go up and ask how much they'll take for the i8. That's the biggest question. 
And we're back in the car. As soon as they saw me literally filming up to the door, they saw me behind the door filming, and they basically said no filming inside, which kind of sucks. Suck. But suck. Um, I went ahead and asked them, uh, can I just get a quote on a car? And uh, they said we actually don't give quotes here. It's all online. We'll either you guys can either accept the offer online and then send the car off to us, or we'll come pick it up. So regardless, we're gonna find out how much you're gonna offer us for this car. So stay tuned. But fortunately, that does mean we're gonna head home. So let's head home. Let's head home and uh, let's see what let's see what what pick a plot offers me for this car guys that car is sick what the heck i really want to rent a limo or something i've never rented a limo i don't know is limos really a thing anymore i feel like people would rather rent an exotic car than a limo but i feel like i don't know i don't see limos as much is limo still a thing let me know down below but uh I really want to experience one at least once in my life. All right, so we're back in Oak Grove and I need a coffee. I don't know, I, I just need one. I, I think I, I just need one, okay? So I have no justification for it. It's just, it's a dollar and it tastes really good. Their iced coffees are phenomenal here. And it's just the right proportion because it's like it's a dollar and it's like this big, it's nothing crazy, but it tastes good and I'm just happy to drink it. Anyhow, let's go ahead and get that and then head home. Put in this car. I'm also curious about the 435 and the 135. So we'll go ahead and put in all three of our cars in the pick a pool and see which one they'll offer the most. Imagine they offer me something more for the 135 or the 435 because those parts are more in demand. But then again, the i8 is an i8. So, well, guess we'll find out. Let's just get the coffee because I'm, I'm, I'm thirsty. Just got our iced coffee. Oh my lord. We gotta, we gotta give it a taste test. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. It tastes so good. Oh my lord. <laughs> And we're officially here on the computer. So if you go ahead and just log in, I'm over here watching TJ Hunt. Don't mind that. Let's go ahead and go to pick and pull. So they said you can go to their website and actually check how much your car's value is. So we're gonna go and actually check it out from their website. We're gonna check the 135, the 435, and then finally the i8. I'm really curious to see if this is like literally just to recycle cars or do they actually offer a decent price because they actually sell some cars there so if i say everything is okay with the car and everything's intact will they give me a decent offer or I, what i mean by decent i mean at least a couple grand for the i8 because that's a lot for 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 pick and pull or where they literally just offer me 50 bucks so i guess we'll find out. so if you go over here to we buy cars i'm gonna go over here start quota postal code you gotta put in your postal code it's a 2010 bmw 135 i'm not a robot next okay so damage front no damage rear no damage side no uh engine missing no we have the engine <laughs> transmissions there radiator tires glass missing no everything's there. interior parts missing no trash no rust no we are good to go um okay so they will offer me 157 dollars for the 135 it's actually not a bad offer to be on but let's see if there's any difference between a 135 and a 435 so i'm gonna go ahead and decline this offer mainly because they just ripped me the hell off we buy cars start quote zip code it's a 2014 uh bmw 435 okay everything is good everything's intact with the car next okay okay well i mean they do change up the price, so not every car is the same. So, um, I guess my 435 is worth more. It's worth $163, which is pretty freaking awesome. Should I trade in the 435 for $163? Nah, imagine I was actually drunk and I went down there and traded. They're probably the happiest people alive. They're like, oh my, like whoever that goes down to that pick and pull will find bags, M4 interior. They will literally take the whole car home if you actually see my car at pick and pull. Should I actually part out my car? See how much money I can make off of it, like parting out a car? I think that'd be kind of crazy. I don't know. I'm kind of having some crazy ideas with the 435 Mini because we've done everything to it. Should we unmodify it and see how much money you can make off an un like unmodifying a car, like buying a modified car than unmodifying it? Huh. Let me know if you guys want to see that or not. Or am I being completely delusional because I'm looking at this price and I'm losing my mind. Anywho, let's go ahead and just go to uh, the We Buy Car section again. Start quota, put in the zip code, year to 2016, BMW i8. I'm not a robot next everything is good guys moment of truth will we get around 160 i think it was 164 for the 435 or will we get more since it is an i8 i i am honestly having low hopes at this point i'm, I'm at least i'm hoping for at least 200 dollars. give me at least 200 dollars, please next wow that is that is depressing uh here's an offer for your vehicle for a 2016 bmw i8 they're willing to give me less for my i8 than the 435. Um, let's go ahead and just accept the offer. Okay, actually, I think that's probably the saddest thing I've ever seen. 
they're willing to give me less. I feel like this is at random at this point, but they're willing to, I wonder now what kind of cards I should give you a decent amount of money for and like why? Why is a 435 worth more? Maybe because those parts go out quicker? Maybe there's not much i 8 they've never done an i 8 before, so maybe because they don't really know the value of it, but they can send it to 2016. So I don't know, but that's weird. That's so weird. I know anything off the i 8 they can make more than 150 something dollars. I bet you even if you take off some piece of the interior, it's worth more than $156. It's crazy. But you guys know what else is crazy? My website, my website, where is it? Noor Hamadi, it should be here. Okay, Natty Home, right there, bottom bing bada bang look at that now that is crazy it looks super sick i love how this website's laid out i'm super proud about it look at that logo so if you guys are wondering where natty came from originally natty is actually my first and last name combined it takes the n from my first name and the adi from my last name i used this name my entire life i don't know why and how i came I, I just literally just wanted to take my first letter and my last three letters and name myself natty i don't know it's like one of my nicknames i don't know i think it's kind of cool pretty awesome cop some merch and support your boy we're gonna be trying to get another rebuild on this channel, but in the meantime, we are enjoying the i8. I'm actually thinking about making some custom decals for the i8. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see some custom decals, something new in the store. But yeah, we got all these cool little goodies. We only currently have two decal designs: the hashtag Save BMW and the custom decal. I'm wondering if we should do something completely custom. But yeah, guys, make sure to check out my store link down below. I'm gonna be officially making my own merch pretty soon. As for now, this is through a third-party company, but the quality is absolutely amazing you guys can ask anyone that's actually purchased some of my merch i cannot wait to start making my own merch and have my own designs and have unlimited types of designs unlimited colors that's actually going to be happening quite soon towards december so december is a lot of things actually going on in december that you guys don't know about it's going to be freaking crazy but without further ado guys today was just a pretty much a little fun video i really was curious to see if they'll actually go outside and check the car out and be like Hey, you know, this, this, and this. Unfortunately, they were not that cool at pick a pool. They were like, this kid is just a joke. So, unfortunately, I was not able to do it. I might actually have to go do it at CarMax or maybe even BMW and see if BMW will give me a decent offer. I did buy it from BMW. Maybe I should go in there and be like, I've kind of changed my mind. I want a three series hybrid instead of the i8. So can you trade it in? Because I'm not a big fan of the two doors. <laughs> so let me know if you guys want to be traded into BMW or CarMax, but without further ado guys, place your order, support your boy. He's trying to get an M build on the channel for you guys. So whatever that cops some merch or whatever it may be, even the decal, anything at all, make sure to tag me on my Instagram, the order, and I'll be reposting everyone that purchases anything. Again, we have some super huge things happening December and, and all the help will mean the world. Anywho guys, I love y'all so much. Without further ado guys, Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.